the other day and I got some flowers because we have this little potted garden up here in the front of the house. Uh, Zach hardscaped here last year and put down some flagstones and we're gonna have some moss and stuff growing in between. It's a little eh, iffy right now. It's kind of just we're patchy. We're drying and uh, we've got a bunch of herbs up here. Zach built this awesome table and we've got a new espaliered apple tree and I've been really inspired by Garden Answer on YouTube and her beautiful flower garden. We've always been really interested in vegetable gardening, but there's just something about having a lot of blooms on the property. Like right now, our cherry tree is completely bloomed and it is absolutely stunning. And what I notice is it just gives me such a good feeling coming outside and seeing it. And I thought, well, why don't I plant some things then that can do the same thing? So we went to the nursery and I got some flowers and I have no idea how to take care of them. I don't know anything about flowers. I don't know anything about any of it. I got all annuals. I didn't get any perennials because the gal at the nursery told me that annuals bloom throughout the year, but die off in the frost and perennials, while they are beautiful, they come back every year, they bloom for a shorter period of time. So I wanted to have just some, I don't know, I just wanted to experiment with some flowers and see what you know we could do. And I will show you what I got. And I am going to plant up this planter here. We got this, this is actually a really good deal. It's only 32 bucks. Planters are freaking expensive. You know what else is expensive? Literally everything. Plants, Plants are so expensive planters are expensive and uh, I know they don't have to be you can get ones like this we got this at Walmart and it's plastic so it's really really light so you could easily move your plants around I'll probably plant this up too but um this one is like a ceramic really cool planter and uh, this was what 10 bucks is that from Walmart yeah 10 or 12 yeah not bad at all so I am going to ah! creepy spider <laughs> Oh God, I'm going to I am not cut out, cut out for this. Right there, don't do it, Zach. Don't do what I know you want to do. Oh, he's a wolf sweater. Is that a wolf? Yeah, that's, that's kind of a baby wolf. Bleh, baby wolf. All right, so here's all the flowers that I got. Uh, what I've discovered over my time in the world and why I tend not to like things that I do, I've discovered about myself that I tend to underplant everything and then stand back and go, well, that's lackluster. And I've noticed that when watching different YouTube channels like Garden Answer, like the Elliott Homestead, when I've seen them planting flowers, they're over planting. They're really filling it in and then removing as needed instead of like planting one and then just waiting for it to grow. That's what I'm gonna do as well. I'm gonna like over plant these and just really, really pack them in. And then if I need to thin out a little bit here and there, then I can. Is that spider still there? Yeah, and I don't like you, so. I don't know what half of these are. I literally just went through and picked out what I thought was pretty. Um, so I am going to just hope that there are like little stakes. No, none of them have. So this guy is a begonia. And this says sun to shade, which is great because this area gets like dappled sunlight, as you can see. Um, this right here is also a begonia, nonstop pink. And this one is, is it just white? Nonstop white. Nonstop. nonstop, baby. I don't know what these are, but I'm literally obsessed with the way that these look. They're so stunning. They don't have a little sticker or anything. It, it says select annual. Uh, I can use my app though to figure out what they are. There's an app called Picture This and I'm not sponsored by them or anything like that. In fact, I'm gonna tell you not to pay for the app because <laughs> you can actually get away with not paying for the app. Basically, like download the app. It's gonna try to get you immediately to pay for it and then just say like continue to unpaid version or whatever and keep hitting the X at the top right and then you can totally use it free. And it'll keep trying to get you to pay for it and you just literally keep being like, no, 
And then I also got all of these right here. They smell like nothing. I thought they did. <laughs> oh, it's these. Oh, what are these? What are Al Alisum? Oh, these are all perfect. Scent apart shade. This is all great. Wow, they're very fragrant. Lovely. What is this guy? I don't even know. Supertunia Vista Fuchsia. Lovely. It's gonna look like that. I got a lot of pinks. I really am not like a pink lover, but I just, there's something about like this yard. We have two camellias in here that are all pink and then we have white. So I thought I would continue on with the theme of like pink and white, everything. So that's where we're going. Blossoms are pink and white too. What? Oh, the apple blossoms are pink and white. They're really cute. Um, and then this one right here is so gorgeous. This is a fuchsia. So this one is sunny and shady. So this is all perfect for these areas. Fuchsias are some of the most gorgeous flowers I think I've ever seen. They are what you see a lot in the annual flower hanger baskets that you can get from like Home Depot. But they are so beautiful. So I'm just gonna start planting and get going. That spider really needs to mosey. Mosey, bub, get. He won't go. He won't go. I don't wanna poke him. I'm not gonna spear him. Get, oh, get. Keeping me out, bud. Just go. Why are you hanging out? Nobody wants you around. Get out of here. Get! Get out of my face, bro. He's like fighting me. Get! No, no, the other way. Get! No, no. There he goes. Yeah, but he hung out under that. So big. He's so big and so fast and so creepy, and I hate him. I don't want anything to happen to him, but like, get away from me forever. We have some potting soil that we had used for previous raised beds that we have over here on a tarp. And we have been filling the bottom of our planters with that because it's almost seems wasteful since the roots kind of hang out at the top anyway. We've been using that that we like had in tomato beds and stuff like that in the bottom of our planters. And then we put fresh potting soil on top and that's been working really well. That's what we did for all of our herbs and everything looks great. Yeah, so we have this old potting soil. Um, that we just we just have on a tarp in our driveway that we kind of need to get rid of so we're putting it in the bottom of all the pots and then eventually i'm probably just gonna dump in the woods it just seemed like such a waste because this was like perfectly good for gardening yeah and i don't know if you've ever purchased like bagged soil like bag soil is the, not the way to go if you're buying a lot but we bought it all by the bag and it's expensive organic soil is expensive dude soil is the most expensive part of gardening honestly you can't I mean, okay, this is just for me. Gardening isn't really... Eventually, you could offset your costs for groceries. But if that's your initial, like, reasoning for gardening, you're going to be, like, really surprised at how much it doesn't save you right off the get. You have to, like, enjoy the process of gardening because, realistically, it's going to be really expensive in the beginning. Like, yeah, because what we've discovered is like for the gardening process so far, like building the raised beds, unless you're using all salvaged materials and building or and gardening straight from the ground, it's expensive, you know, and you have to like love the process of gardening too, because it's not going to end up saving you that much money for a while. Hey, Bubba, we're fine. When we do our big garden, we're gonna have soil delivery. We're not gonna buy this bagged stuff anymore because this is the way more expensive way to do it. Basically, like, build our own sort of thing. With like peat moss and um, fertilizer and stuff like that. Compost. A lot of people ask too, I've had the question quite a few times. We still have our worms? Yes, we do. You guys don't know, or if you didn't see, a couple years ago, we created a worm farm, like a worm bin, and it's a compost bin, and you put your food scraps in there, and then the worms eat it, and then they like let out worm castings, and then you can use it in your garden. But yeah, we to totally still have them, and they're doing well. They're huge, actually. They're like not these tiny little red wrigglers anymore. They're pretty big. Okay, these do say what they are in here. This is Kong series coleus. Gosh, aren't those beautiful? They are so, so stunning. I don't know if you can tell. Look at that. They are like gorgeous. I'm just gonna go for it. We'll see how this works. So I've totally never done this before. Some of you may be out there watching and like yelling at the screen of like, no, don't do it like that. And I, you know, 
this is kind of how you have to learn by trial and error. I'm not that concerned about it though. I think it's gonna be just fine. There's no better way to learn, eh? But I think I like them bunched together. Technically, I could put them in two different planters or a few different, I mean, honestly, about six of them. And these are Cosmos, Sonata White Cosmos. Guarantee you Garden Answer would watch this and be like, okay, don't ever speak my name again and then plant flowers like this. I wonder if when you're like extremely knowledgeable about a topic and then you see people like butchering it. <laughs> Is that frustrating? I don't know. That's the cool thing about that um, app. So like if you forget to like keep your little stakes next to things, literally just go on the app and you can find out what the thing is instantaneously. So this is a begonia. I think begonias get pretty big, don't they? Nine inch spacing, oh shit. So I'm really packing these in and I definitely should not be. I think that I'm doing myself a huge disservice right now by doing this. It grows 20 to 24 inches tall. I'm spaced 12 inches apart. Although the lady did say at the nursery that when you are looking to over plant things like how I'm gonna do, she said you cut the spacing in half. I'm literally cutting it in like way more than half because I am like planting these way too close together. But you know, YOLO. If I overthink things, I tend not to do them. If I try to like get too technical about things and like if I feel like I'm gonna screw it up, I'm usually like, eh, I'm not even gonna do it. And I don't wanna do that. I want to um, just be a doer. And that's why I tend to even if I'm doing something wrong, just go for it because these were actually pretty inexpensive. And a lot of times I've discovered that even though things do have rules, the rule of thumb is that things really want to grow. And yeah, if you have them in like the completely wrong growing conditions, you can totally screw them over. The begonias are what's gonna really screw this whole thing over. I'm excited to see what happens. And you know what, I can always repot them. Like if I'm way, way, way over planting this right now, which I'm pretty sure I am, like there's no question in my mind, um, you can always repot. I mean, it's not the best. It's better to just do it the right way the first time, but you know. And look at that. It looks beautiful from the get-go. Because instead of underplanting and waiting six months for it to look pretty, it just looks pretty immediately. One and down and one to go. Put a little too much. Garden Answer and I have very different styles in that way, where, I call her Garden Answer, like that's her name. Uh, Mrs. Garden Answer and I, uh, but we have very different um, styles. Like she likes things to be really um, precise and very clean and very like proper. And I like things a lot more whimsical and like almost chaotic. <laughs> Not really, but you know what I mean? These smell so freaking good. So I'm gonna take these and because they are in these little cells, I'm going to split them up in here and let them spread out themselves. I put like two of these little cells in each one just to fill in. And I'm gonna go through and make sure that my soil is nice and good in just a sec. That's the thing. Vegetables want to grow 
but are flowers the same? We are about to find out, you know what I mean? Are they more finicky? Like, am I gonna have issues that I didn't take into consideration? Certain things about them, and that, that's definitely a possibility. Because I've noticed that like, veggies, they wanna grow. So much so, that you can like, get too much, you know? But maybe I'm totally screwing up with these. And I keep these. Every time I buy anything from a nursery, I keep these because these are really good to use for future when you want to start some plants and you either don't have your seed starting tray or whatnot. These are really good to use for that. Time to just move them over to where I kind of want them. that is planting flowers. I have never done it before and we'll see how it goes. I think I way over planted everything, but I don't really care. I think it's going to turn out cool. And even if it doesn't, it's a learning, you know, moment for me. Every prior year that we have gardened at our previous house and had herbs and stuff like that outside, we had them in direct sunlight and you know, there's like full sun, which is above six hours a day, six or above. But the thing is, is that our last house got like 12 hours of hot, hot sun. So it would just burn and crispify everything that we had outside. But now we have this dappled sunlight area that's right near the front porch. And things that are out here right now are doing so beautifully. It's the perfect amount of indirect sunlight and it's just lovely. So we're really happy with uh, this area right up here. So when we grow our herbs and stuff, it's really easy to run outside, clip a couple of little pieces of rosemary or mint or anything that we need. And we've got it all right here and it's really, really lovely. And it's been great for not having things be scorched by the sun. And I think these flowers will do good because they do good in sun to partial shade, which is awesome. That's exactly what this area is. All right, well, thank you guys so much for hanging out. This was just a quick video. I will keep you updated on how things look. If you guys follow us on Instagram, we show like this area quite often when it's like a beautiful sunny day. We're actually expecting like 10 days of rain coming up, which is really irritating. And another cold front coming through, which is like, what? Hi, it's been so beautiful here for the last two weeks. It's been literally every single day, like up in the 70s and 80s, beautiful blue skies, sunshine, like birds everywhere. And then now the forecast is nothing but rain, clouds and gloominess. So yay. So definitely follow us on Instagram if you guys are interested in seeing more behind the scenes stuff. We post on our stories quite often and show kind of what we're up to out here. 
And I thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys like this video. And I will link everybody that I talked about in this video down below, like Garden Answer, Elliot Homestead. But they've really helped me to see that like I was just short-sighted on the thing. I was always, I'm just really cheap in my heart. I'm somebody that's like, okay, one plant, I can get one, see how it does. Instead of like over planting like I just did, which and it ends up being so much more beautiful. And when I do some like flowery landscaping around this property, I'm gonna make it an effort to like really fill in the space and use a lot of different things in different areas. Like I wanna like not just put one lavender plant in, I'll put 20. And we're starting a lot of stuff from seed too. Like we have a ton of herbs that need to get in pots. And I just did the flowers right now, but we gotta plant these herbs up. But unfortunately we're having that cold front come through. So I gotta move this stuff up to the covered porch because it'll freeze and kill everything I just did. All right, you guys, well, thank you so much for watching and we will see you at our next video.